Okay, let's talk about the dreaded VLOOKUP function and uh, and how power pivot is actually an answer to, to that problem, the VLOOKUP problem, as well as to many other things. Um, so we'll start off here with what I consider to be a pretty common problem in Excel, where you've got uh, two tables of data. On, on this tab, I've got a list of the top grossing movies of all time. And on this tab, I have a list of years from 2011 back and some properties, some things that were going on in the, in the US in those years. And the reason why I'm interested in these two particular tables primarily has to do with, of course, Star Wars and the fact that I'm tired of seeing things like Avatar, Titanic, uh, topping the, the box office charts when we all know full well that uh, measuring by dollars is a really uh, poor metric for that because, well, movie tickets were more expensive in 2011 than the, you know than they were way back in 1977. Um, we also have uh, more people now than we did in 1977. So, in terms of gauging a movie's popularity, using uh, total dollars is a really crude crude measurement, and so how do I adjust for that? Um, the first thing I need to do is to get uh, data about each year into this table. If I had a column here that said uh, the average ticket price in 2009 was however many dollars, uh, and I had another column here that said the average, um, not the average, but the total population of the U.S. was some you know 300 plus million in in 2009 then i would i'd be well on my way to to um creating let's say a, a, another column which would tell me how many tickets were sold per person in the united states uh for that for that movie um now the trick is is that uh even if i sort this table by released year i'm going to get Lots of movies for each year. I've got a 2009 movie here, and I've got a 2009 movie here. And I mean, in fact, this, if I go to the bottom of this table, you'll see that I've got 518 rows uh, in this table. And uh, in my years table, it ends down around row 72. It doesn't, I just, I can't sort these two tables by year and then start copying and pasting. Even even if I wanted to, that would take me uh, a tremendous amount of time. So th the traditional solution to this problem in Excel is a, a function called VLOOKUP. And um, let's take a quick look at it. So VLOOKUP, and this is where it actually starts to lose <laughs> a bunch of people. Um, and the funny thing is, is that I have long considered VLOOKUP to be uh, sort of a almost like a a stepping stone to getting to uh, pivot tables. So here's a um, here's an, uh, a picture that I use in my in my Power Pivot book, and it really just sort of covers how people typically learn Excel. Uh, and the, the whole point of it is to say, hey, we start simple. And we slowly, incrementally learn. We add new tricks to our uh, to our tool set. We learn more and more, and we keep climbing this curve. And it's nice and smooth. And and that's that's true. That's that really is just you know, people don't learn Excel all at once, of course. But the the interesting thing here is that I have VLOOKUP on this curve, slightly below pivot tables. I I have long believed that people learn VLOOKUP before they learn pivot tables. And uh, Bill Jelen, Mr. Excel. When he first saw Power Pivot, one of his thoughts was, "Hey, maybe Power Pivot is the solution to the VLOOKUP problem," and I didn't really uh, get that at the time. That because I, I thought that v, you, know, in order to get to pivot tables, which in in my opinion is sort of a prerequisite for uh, for Power Pivot usage, you had to already know VLOOKUP. And but anyway, I filed that thought away because it was interesting. Um, and then the other day, something interesting happened. Uh, my sister. And I were exchanging emails, and it turns out she's a heavy-duty user of pivot tables. I, I had no idea. Uh, pivot table users, we, we lurk everywhere, sometimes even within our own family. 
And not only does she use pivot tables, she even writes calculations in pivot tables. I'm not talking about power pivot calculations. I'm talking about the old style pivot table calculations, which is, in my opinion, crazy advanced, but she does not know VLOOKUP. So for her, pivot tables, VLOOKUP is actually above pivot tables on the curve. And this, this matches what Bill was saying to me years ago. So it got me thinking again about, um, about this topic. And I thought maybe we just do a quick, a quick demonstration today of uh, the difference between solving this problem in traditional Excel versus solving it in uh, Power Pivot. So let's go ahead and write the VLOOKUP formula. And you know, we'll, everyone can decide whether this is scary or not for themselves. So lookup value is 2009. What's the table array? Okay, well, I got to go over to the years tab and select all of this. And oops, hit the hit enter when I shouldn't have. Um, so, but now I have to remember to adjust this to be an absolute reference. Otherwise, when I fill it down, it won't work. And then column index number. Well, I want to grab the second column out of that. So I enter a two here. And then I have to know to pick false for this last argument. Just, just trust me on that and hit enter. So this is the, the, the ticket price in 2009 in the US was $7 and 93, oh wait, $7.50, okay? That's exactly what, okay. So uh, now I can, I can format this if I want as a currency and then I can double click and fill it down. So now I have my ticket price. And if I want to do the same thing, if I want to grab the number of people in the United States, well, I've got to, I got to repeat that process. For every column that I want to fetch from, uh, from that other table, I have to repeat that problem, repeat that formula, slightly different formula. In fact, let me just grab it here and copy that. Because I don't want to rewrite that year's range again. And this time I want to grab the third column, okay? So US population. Fill that down, okay? So now I actually have a unified table uh, and if I had 15 columns over there in the years table that I wanted to grab, I'd be writing 15 VLOOKUP formulas. And if I come back to the formula, you know, it's just not very readable. This doesn't exactly say, hey, go fetch U.S. population from that other table, does it? It, it says something very cryptic in, in that formula. Okay, well, let's try that same process in, in Power Pivot instead. So let's pretend that I don't have these columns. Um, and so just getting the data into power pivot is pretty straightforward. Click create table. My table has headers. Okay. So here it is in power pivot. And then I resize the window so everyone can see it. Go back to Excel, go to the years tab. Do the create link table again. So all this is doing is getting the data into Power Pivot. All right, so there we go. I've got some tables in Power Pivot, and uh, over here in my movies tab, uh, just right click on the released column, say create relationship, and I just tell Power Pivot what the matching column is in the other table, and the matching column is year. It's released in year. Once that linkage is established. Now I can go in here and just type equals related and fetch from the other table, table three, I can fetch uh, average ticket price, which is a very readable formula uh, as opposed to something uh, more obscure. And I think it's quite a bit easier formula to write. And then again, I can write related and table three, see, I can just select, I don't have to flip to the other tab or anything. I just select by, um, by name of the column and I can get us population and return this back here too. Of course, the next step would be to create some calculations that, that integrate this. 
um, and we find out that Gone with the Wind is actually the the winner in this analysis. Um, but uh, we could also be building pivot tables at this point, which um, again, uh, in my new uh, adjusted worldview, uh, being able to link between these tables and create pivot tables um, would be uh, quite a bit simpler now, even in Power Pivot. So it's not this Power Pivot isn't just a place to go to get more advanced functionality beyond normal pivot tables. It's also a place to go to get more uh, simplified functionality for your pivot tables, which is um, even for me kind of a, a cool, uh, very cool thing to realize.